Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have the knack of creating your own customized toolbars, you can use your skills to turn them into custom pop-up menus. And this is a nice touch for your own customized forms in your database. To do this, you would first have to create a custom toolbar that contains all of the commands that you want to display in the pop-up menu as a normal toolbar. So we would go to Tools, choose Customize. On the Toolbars tab, we would have to make our new toolbar. Click OK. Go to the Commands tab and drag the commands that we want to have appear in the pop-up menu onto your toolbar. At that point, you would click back into the Toolbars tab and select the name of your custom toolbar. Then click the Properties button at the right side of the Toolbars tab. That will bring up the Toolbar Properties dialog box. Here you use the Type drop-down to select Pop-up. Click OK and then click Close. You can close the customized dialog box and then go into the form to which you want to associate the custom pop-up menu. Open it in Design View. Make sure the form itself is selected by using the form selector in the upper left corner and then view the properties of the form. On the other tab, for the shortcut menu, make sure that says yes, and for the shortcut menu bar, use the drop down to choose my pop-up or the name of your custom pop-up toolbar. Close the form, and when you view the form in form view, note that when we right click now, we have those selected options. Now, to delete the custom pop-up menu if you do not want it, you have to go back to Tools and choose Customize. The name of your toolbar will no longer appear in the toolbars list. Your toolbar has actually been moved to a special toolbar called the Shortcut Menu. If you check it to turn it on, you can see that this has some different shortcut menus our custom ones go under the custom section. So here's the My Pop-Up. To delete it, click on the My Pop-Up choice or the name of your custom pop-up toolbar and click Properties. For the selected toolbar, use the drop-down up at the top to select the name of your custom pop-up menu bar. Change the type from Pop-Up, which actually can't be deleted, to a toolbar again. Click Close in the Toolbar Properties. You can see your toolbar has now appeared again, and it's also back in the Toolbars list on the Toolbars tab in the Customize dialog box, where now we can select it like it's a regular toolbar by clicking on it, and choose Delete, and click OK. And then close your Customize dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.